Hey my friends, I'm your friend Kevin. Today's Friday the 29th of September 2023. This is your card of the day. All right then, so uh, I should say a welcome, welcome, welcome everybody, new subscribers, existing subscribers, friends of the channel. You're always welcome here. I love your comments. Uh, And we are using the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck by Radley Valentine, one of my uh, mentors and teachers. Uh, And I'm using his uh, Archangel Power Tarot deck for the card of the week which happens to be the world card and featuring Archangel Michael. So uh, I've always done my prayer. I've always done my meditation. Oh, and I should say that my two isms today, um, these are new or not new, rather, sorry. Um, Love is my compass needle. It is something that we are lacking. It is something that the world needs. It's something that those of us that are on this channel participating in the world as a spiritual being should be spreading. Uh, And then the affirmation is, I am enough just as I am. That I am calls upon God, calls upon the universe, source energy, whatever it was you believe is the creator. And you are enough just as you are. Another one I love to use is I am perfection unfolding. So let's get right to it. I'm going to give a quick shuffle. Thank you. Angels, ancestors, father in the sky, mother in the earth, beings, intergalactic beings, light workers from all realms. I welcome you to this space and give thanks for your messages. Uh, May they be uplifting, inspiring, enlightening, healing and loving. So be it, so shall it be. Okay, there we go. I think that's a good shuffle. This one wants to come out for some reason. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it is the five of earth. We've got this leaf here, which also means discs. You can see the discs, pentacles uh, in these traditional um, tarot decks. I like these decks because they speak about angels. They speak about spirituality, of which I love. And then we've got um, Archangel Michael with the world card. Um, He's basically bringing a happy ending and talking about coming full circle and also spiritual growth and insight. In this card, we have Archangel Sandalphon with his beautiful turquoise robes. And his hands are on the mind of the woman. And she's sitting all forlorn in her troubles, in her mind, in her thoughts. And she's got the comfort of the cat, the calico cat right next to her. Now, noticing this image, we have the daffodils that are in full bloom. There's not one that's dying. There's not one that's just still coming up. They are in full bloom. And we have these two... uh, stained glass windows either side of this lady and she's still looking at the floor she is still bowing her head it's as if she is praying for a miracle and Archangel Sandophon is here to basically say your prayers have been answered and you have been heard and we are here to give you comfort see the cat and give you peace putting his hands on her head peace of mind that's what that is and then you know we are bringing you everything that you could possibly need so the message that Radley wrote is negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges fears surrounding money reach out to others for assistance poor timing for becoming self-employed well you know I'm going to speak to this personally I don't believe this well this card is for all of us not just me We are going through a transition. I remember many years ago when I was a um, budding entrepreneur. I'm going to come back over to this camera. um, Thinking, you know, is this the right time to go into your own business? But I remember thinking a long time ago, um, getting a notion, getting a, 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 what can I say, affirmation, if you will. No, not really an affirmation. What would it be? Confirmation, something like that. A message. 
And it was around 2016, 17, somewhere in there. One of these random thoughts, which I, is messages. That folks need to be self-employed or have a way of generating their own income by the year 2025. At the time, it seemed very weird to be saying such a thing because, you know, seemingly global economy was somewhat thriving. Uh, the US economy had survived the financial downfall of 2008, 9 and 10. We're back on track. So little did any of us know then that we would be plopped into a global pandemic. And once we emerge from the other side of the chaos, be looking at high inflation. Um, so I would say today's card of the day might be reminding you that finances, your money situation, I know mine is, might seem a little tough, might seem a little challenging. And indeed it is. It is for me. It is for others. The one thing that you do have that's incredibly abundant is love, light, laughter, joy, happiness. Now, I know <laughs> I've said it myself. OK, well, what good is that? Or well, you've got a pile of bills sitting on your desk. Yes. Love, happiness, joy, compassion. It's not going to pay those bills. <laughs> no, it won't. But joy, love, compassion, laughter, lightening up. We're spiritual beings. We're having a human experience. And we have to live in the confines of the human element. Putting your prayers up, asking for help, using Archangel Uriel, in this case Archangel Sandophon. Archangel Sandophon is that very tall Archangel, feet on the earth, head in the heavens, that's bringing your prayers and your requests up to God, the creator, the universe, in listening. What I will say is at times like this, and there have been many lately for me. I have to look at times in my life where I thought that my finances were just going to go like down the sink. And indeed, there have been a lot of times where there's a lot more money going out than coming in. What I now know is the more I buy into that constructing, constricting, that's the word I need, constricting, um, belief, the more constricted it becomes. The fear is just as lively as the freedom. There's fear in your mind and there's freedom in your mind and you're sitting in the driving seat deciding what you're wanting to invest in. It is a challenge to sit in fear and think, believe, understand courage which is where faith comes in, meditation comes in. And what I keep saying lately, find a place of grounding. If you're looking for a larger flow of finances, money, as I am, you look to Archangel Uriel to give you the epiphanies, to bring you the golden light of fire. You look for Archangel Metatron to speed things up and put things into place and let them come at their own pace. You look to help, i.e. if you've got a bill that's struggling to pay, contact the folks you need to pay for help. If you are, uh, because you know, these, these restricted beliefs, their fears, buying into the freedom from it, and using affirmations, I'm enough just as I am. Uh, I am love is my comfort needle. Uh, I am commanding harmony, happiness and the opulence of God or the opulence of the universe or the opulence of the creator or the op opulence of source energy. When you get into these things, when you get into this mode of thinking, you start invoking 
the powers. You start invoking Sandalphon. You start invoking your spiritual board of directors that are helping to direct you. That's what they're there for. They come to say to you, okay, what do you need us to do? How do you need us to help you? And remember, my friends, my beautiful friends, when you get, get these gifts, these miracles, whether it's a penny on the ground, whether it is a, a dime in a, a coin slot, whether you go to the self-checkout and somebody left their change for you to find, that is when you say, I got it. Thank you. Great. Got it. Got it. Got it. A dollar, a penny, a dime, little bits of change everywhere is a reminder that money's just going to keep coming to you. Um, one of our friends of the channel gave me a um, little prayer. Here it is. I'm going to share it with you. I am ready for the best, and I've misspelled divine, benevolent outcome for an abundance of money coming to me now. And so it is. I am ready for the best divine benevolent outcome for an abundance of money coming to me now. These are things and you can say you can change that abundance of money. You can change it to abundance of love. You can change it to an abundance of strength. You can claim, change it to an abundance of clarity. You can change that word to mean anything. You want the best benevolent outcome. The worst thing you can do is beat yourself up and sit in the soup of sadness because the soup of, everything is a vibration. Everything is a vibration. When you lift your heart up and you lift yourself to happiness and harmony and you command, like one of my favourite affirmations from Dr. Wayne Dwyer is, let me see if I can remember it. I am the governor of the present governing in perfect divine order, commanding the presence of happiness and harmony and the opulence of God in my home, in my world and in my life. And sort of keep repeating it and keep repeating it because you're sending out that wave. It's rippling out from in here. It ripples right on out. The one thing I will say, and then I'll let you go, Without love, nothing else is possible. Without love, nothing else is possible. So, my friends, I love you for all that you're doing, all that you're about, and for being in this channel. Until tomorrow, be well, be loved, be perfect, be all the things you already are. You're enough. Bye.